You've been around the block. You know a lot of successful people. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead. I got a lot to say about this. So when I was, you know, in my power world of, of illusionary power, many girlfriends that I had, I used my power to basically get what I want. You know, come on, honey, we love each other. Open relationship. Don't ask, don't tell. What do you care? Don't ask me. It's going to be okay. You know I love you. I forced that. Right? Really? I used my powers of manipulation and I forced that and when and you well, say powers it, just to be clear it was status it, money yeah, connections it's like, all yeah that. it's like yes a girlfriend is living in a big house as your basic guest right driving one of your cars right not Got really it. in a position to argue right? right and what I learned over the years is every girlfriend that I ever did that it took me a decade just to make peace with them again and that I had actually really hurt them and I put them in all kinds of scenarios where they lost self confidence. So there's a lot of spiritual work that I Damn. had to do that, right? Of doing that because of my selfishness, ultimately, right? And I used to think that a powerful man was, yeah, you got all the girls, yeah, your girl's out of town, <laughs> let's go out, you know, I used to think that was a powerful man. Now I think that's a jerk off, actually. Mm -hmm. I think I don't even do business with people, I don't even actually allow people to work at the foundation that cheat on like their their husbands and stuff and 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 wives because i don't trust them then if you're gonna wow. be a deceptor Powerful perspective to your right own you catch that? Yeah. if you're gonna wake up next to your wife every day and then deceive her because you have all these other affairs going on you think i'm gonna let you trust you with our foundation like mm -hmm. dollars or aid and stuff right you, you're you're just not a trustworthy person so you either walk a straight line and if yeah. you walk a straight line you have so much true power and if you look at People who are really powerful, look at their karma. Look at Harvey Weinstein, greatest movie director in the world. I mean, literally made the most amazing movies. Couldn't keep his dick in his pants. Too much ego, too much nihilism. And look what he did to women. And he'll croak and die with a stroke, basically, and have to repeat his life. Mm. Clinton was one of the greatest presidents, right? Whatever, it might be controversial. He did a great job running this country, mm -hmm. ended it with a blowjob, it like ruined his legacy, right? Blowjob heard around the so, world. Of course. Imagine if, you know, people are able to actually stay like true and loyal. And, and what I will tell you is of all the models that I dated and all of them, no matter how beautiful they were, after like three weeks, I was already looking elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And the one girls that I ever, like, never cheated on anything, yeah. it was because I nurtured the garden and made them only that. And by doing that, the closeness is, you're so close, right, that you actually have no other desire. So then it's actually easy. It's like, you know, it's like someone who doesn't want to drink and someone who, you know, is like, has to go to counseling to not drink. When you only look at your wife, with love and you think she's the most beautiful girl in the world then it's going to be much easier to not cheat on her but if you look at her and you look at magazines and you look at this one and you look at this one and you're on your instagram all day long and she feels that you're doing that she might cheat on you first wow. <laughs> defense then, mechanism and then oh, you're gonna to catch strike, right. You're gonna <laughs> catch it, right and and it wow. happens all the time so my biggest advice to you is if you actually truly want to have a marriage last and work, right, then nurture it and keep it, you know, in uh, intact, you know, intact. And if you do that, then you'll get through anything. Wow. The idea is to be, you know, 70 years old, you're on that plane holding your, you know, your wife's head like we fucking did it. Uh, <laughs> wow. You know. That's the goal, not to go through three divorces and yeah. fight with prenups and all that shit. I mean, I get it. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not telling you you should do it. I'm just saying <laughs> no, if, you, if you go about there. it the, that way, you're not going to need a prenup because you're both dedicated to making it work but on let, every Let me level. ask you, and, and literally you probably just gave the most profound answer of the day, so like kudos to you, but you probably wouldn't have that answer, Michael, unless you did all that stuff in your 20s, 30s, what have you, mm. and you said, hey, looking back at it, you know, probably wasn't that cool for me to do that. But don't you kind of have to go through the shit to yeah, uh, sort of get to the gold, you know? You know, that before Buddha received nirvana, he was tested. You can have all the women in the world, Buddha, please, you know, don't, don't tune in, right? The dark forces didn't want him to have that experience. You know why he was 
able to attain nirvana and not go there? Because he grew up as Siddhartha, who had fucked thousands of girls in orgies in the palace as a young emperor, right? So it was more of, <laughs> I already fucked them all, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that experience is yeah. important, right? And, and when, when, we, when we get certain things out of our system and we're mature enough, right? Then we can like really nurture yeah. it. A little child that's never seen, you know, like beautiful women before, and he moves to Miami, you know, I mean, it's Candyland. Of course, yeah, of he's going to be. I want this and that. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauce cast, click right here.